Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to shoot 1080p RAW on a Canon 6D using Magic Lantern. Okay guys, so you're going to need Magic Lantern installed on your camera. If you haven't got it, um, either click anywhere on the video now or go to the link in the description and it'll be one of my videos explaining how to install it and to get it up and running. So um, put your camera into video mode and pr go to menu and make sure you have movie record size set to 1080, 24, uh, all I. So that means the processor in the camera does as little work as possible. Select that, go back to here, press the little the trash button down there and r move over to modules. Now scroll down until you see these ones here. So you want uh, MOV record or MO, choose that one. Uh, you also want MOV play, this means you can play back the raw files on your camera. And you want MOV sound if you want sound. So have all those uh, selected. And then now you have to restart your camera, so just turn off the camera, wait a few seconds for it to finish doing its little shutting down process, and then now turn it back on. Let it start up, and then now press the trash icon again, and these have, now, these have all now loaded, so go over to the movie mode, and you'll see raw video. Now when you open it, it will be off, just press the set button, it will turn it on, and then press the Q button to access that menu. Now here you can choose what resolution you size you want. Now obviously in the perfect world, you want the biggest resolution you can get, however, um, it all depends on your card's read and write speeds and even then you can have like a super fast card however your the 60 I know for a fact doesn't write any faster than 45 megabytes a second so you're kind of limited to 1600 here which is still really really good quality so choose that and then where it says aspect ratio I personally choose 235 by 1 um, this gives a sort of letterbox movie style, that's what I choose. Um, I mean, you can do that in post and choose 16 by 9 and put the sort of letterbox effect in. However, I'd rather choose this as it's not going to not going to save as much information so it writes a lot quicker, which basically allows you to shoot at a, a higher resolution. I'm oh, sorry, not sure what's happening there. There you go. So yeah, 235 is what I would recommend. Um, then that is it. You can have global draw on. This is when you're recording you can see the crop marks and uh, where you're actually recording um, which is quite handy. However it does sometimes cause the recording to stop because it skips a few frames. Um, but I tend to have it on. It makes my life easier when recording. Right, so if you go back, that is all you need to do to get um, raw video going. What I do like to do is go to FPS override and choose, oops, sorry, choose 20, it's 24, so it locks it in at 24, um, which is good. And then there you go, you see the letterbox kind of thing here. This is what is actually going to be recorded. With bigger sizes, you use more of the sensor, but again, it will um, basically record more information, which can cause the Magic, the, the magic Lantern to basically stop recording. So I personally keep it how I just said. And that's it. Um, so yeah, go out there and get shooting. Okay guys, so once you finish recording all your footage, just put your SD card into your computer. And then you're going to have to download this program called MLV Mystic. Uh, it's completely free and I will put a uh, link in the description. Uh, choose a version for Windows or Mac. And once you've downloaded it, install it and run it. And it should look like this. Now this software is very simple and very powerful. Um, simply press add. Go to your SD card open DCIM, 100 Canon, and you should see all these files here, which are the video clips. Um, now choose the ones you want. You, want. you can choose them all, you can choose one. I'm going to choose one for this, and just press open. Click set destination, and choose your destination you want them to be exported to. I'm going to choose my desktop just for this, so press choose. Leave everything else the same on this right hand side. Um, and then simply just press convert. Um, you'd have to wait a few minutes depending on how big the video files are and how fast your computer is at rendering. But, but there you go, just press OK when that comes up. Uh, you can close this now, as you won't need it. And you should see in the folder it's created um, a whole lot of DNG files. 
these are basically each each frame of the video is now an image basically so uh, for this next part you have to go over to Adobe After Effects just open a blank project and go file import and choose file um, navigate to where you saved or you exported your video um, and basically select everything in this folder press on a Mac CMD A or on a Windows Control A um, hold CMD or Control and click off the audio clip because you don't want that at the minute um, then go down to options in the bottom left corner here and choose camera raw sequence once you've done that just simply press open and you should be greeted with this screen this is where you can basically make all the adjustments you want to the raw files of the video um, so I'm going to do a quick few little adjustments nothing too crazy um, this is just a tutorial so crush the black, bring the blacks up not so much vibrancy um, if you see here you've got all the different uh, bits you can change, sharpening all the grayscale, HSL, everything you want is all right here uh, highlights um, lens corrections always enable profile correction, remove chromatic aberration basically play around with these settings until you are happy with the way the footage looks so once you're satisfied just press OK and your clip will be here uh, so all you have to do now is just go uh, oh no, all you have to do now is right click on it and click um, this one here and then where it says frames per second change this to the frames per second you had selected in the camera so I'm going to choose 24, so that's, that's what I chose hit enter and then now press file export and click add to render queue you'll have this little uh, window pop up um, where it says output to click on the name choose the location you want it to go to again I'll choose desktop uh, that's all fine press save um, and then you're good to go all you have to do now is just press this render button here and let it render this may take a little bit of time again depending on the size of the video depending on the quality etc and the speed of your computer um, but give it a few minutes and it should be done okay so once the um, video has finished exporting go over to your um, preferred editing software, I'm going to be using Final Cut Pro um, and then once you are in here just uh, import the footage like you normally would um, import that straight away, I've already done that and you should be left with the footage and then as you see you get much much sharper images, much more dynamic range you can do a lot more with the footage to make it look better and way more cinematic than you would normally Okay guys, I hope you found that useful. If you have any problems, please leave a message below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, remember to like and subscribe. So thanks for watching. Catch you next time.